Hello everyone. We will continue that topic, Adobe form or PDF form. And we are discussing how to display a dynamic logo in the Adobe form or PDF form. So based upon that, we uploaded two graphics in SAP through SC78 transaction code. In the interface, I have written the logic. If sales document category C, we are going for first logo, else we are going for second logo. Then I used the method of this particular class, but this method will do. If you will pass these four things, object, name, ID, and type of the graphic, it will return the content of the graphic. It will return the bitmap content of that particular graphic. Now we will simply, simply display this content into the Adobe form or PDF form. So what I will do, I will go to Adobe form or PDF form and we will see how to display this. So I will go to SFP transaction code. You all know SFP is the transaction code for Adobe form or PDF form. Now I will simply go to the change mode. This is our Adobe form or PDF form. And if I will go to global data, you can see into this particular variable, we have the graphic content, we have the bitmap content, we have the image content. So what I will do, I will simply, simply drag and drop from the interface to the Adobe form context. Yes. I will simply drag and drop. Now you can understand why I took this as a part of global data so that I can use in the Adobe form or PDF form. Now, similar to smart form, now I will create a graphic into the Adobe form or PDF form and I will bind this content with that particular graphic. So I will simply right click onto the context of Adobe form or PDF form. Same way in the smart form also you created the graphic, but in that graphic, you directly pass the name of the image. Here we are passing the content of the image. So I will go for create graphic. Now this is our graphic. Now here, the important things will come. Now we created the graphic. Now we need to bind the content of the graphic with this particular node graphic. So how to do that? Just simply to go for down. Simply go for down. Now here, if you see graphic type, we have two options. Graphic reference and graphic content. We are not going for any reference. We are not passing a reference. We are going for content. And into this particular variable, we have the graphic content. So I will simply go to graphic content. Once I will go to graphic content, you can simply, simply, if I will go for enter. Once I will go for graphic content. Yes, it is asking, do you want to change the type of the graphic node? Yes, I want to change. Now, once you change, now you can see we are getting two things. One is field and one is mime type. Firstly, I will go for field. Field means in which particular field or variable you have the graphic content. You have the graphic content in LV underscore content. I will simply, simply pass lv underscore content. Now I will check the syntax. Suppose if I am checking the syntax up to this level, it will give me the error that you need. You have not specified the mime type. Anyways, from a technical perspective, there is no need to go into detail. What is mime type? Why we are simply, simply going for this? So what we will do, we will simply pass a variable in front of mime type. So what you can do, you can simply go to interface of the Adobe form or PDF form, go to global data, declare one variable. This is why we are declaring this variable. 
so that we can simply simply pass as a mind time we are not doing anything just we are passing this as in the mind time and there is no need to go into detail that why we are going for mind time because it's all about computer graphics yes now i will simply go to insert row suppose i am writing lv underscore my and just declare it is of type string i will check the syntax and i will activate this interface just i am taking this variable so that i can bind with this my type now i will go for this and here i will simply firstly go for save i will go to back button so that this variable will be visible here now i will drag and drop i will go to back button do not forget to go into the change mode it is very very compulsory that you need to be in the change mode because if you will design the layout and if you are not in change mode system will not stop you then you will realize okay i have i'm not in change mode so always good to go for change mode i will go to global data now you can see lv mine is visible i will drag and drop now you can simply simply go to graphic and in the graphic type pass this variable lv underscore mine i will check the syntax up to this level now you can see there is no syntax error and i will go for activation now what we will do we will design the layout now because ultimately we need to display and into this particular graphic now we have the graphic so we will simply simply display and for that i will design the layout i'll just wait for the activation part so we created a graphic node in the adobe form or pdf form yes we drag and drop the variable which has the graphic content i change the type to graphic content by default type was graphic reference we are not going for any reference we are going for content so once you go for graphic content it will give you two things you need to pass the field name you need to pass the mime type in the field name you can pass the field or variable which has the graphic content and now we have to pass the mime type what i did i simply took a variable in the interface of the adobe form or pdf form and i bind it nothing there is no need to go into detail what is mime type just take a variable and bind now i will go to layout and we will see we will create a layout element and in that we will display the graph and now you will learn how to create a image field previously we created the image now we will go for image field it is opening yes now we will go for image field now i will go for suppose master page itself suppose this is our master page this is our master page now i'll just delete this image field so that you will not confuse this is for my practice purpose now into this master page what i will do i will simply click i will go for insert i will go for standard and i will go for image field yes we need to go for image field because in a variable or field yes we have the graphic content we have the image so i will go for image field now i will simply simply go for i will just see the page this is our master page i will see where it is i will just keep it up i will just keep it up so that we can see clearly now i will simply expand this 
I will remove this. I do not want to do this. When you are displaying the image directly, at that time we created the image. Now our image is in field. So I will go for image field. Now you can simply, simply go to the object. Yes, object of that image field. And now we will do the binding. I will just go for resetting the palette location. It is hang. So I will just reset the palette location. And now I will bind this. I will simply go for this. I will go for object. This is the object. This is our image field. Now we will go for binding. Now I will go for data binding. This is our, and in this graphic, you need to go for graphic. Do not go for content. Content anyways, you bind it with the graphic. So you need to go for graphic. I will go for graphic. Now, now the most important part which covered during this image also, never, never forget to go for embed image data. If you will not go for embed image data, image will not be embedded. So never forget to select this checkbox. I will go for save. Now I will simply, simply close this. And I will activate our Adobe form or PDF form. So what is the summary of this particular video? Again, important video because so many mistakes are done in the previous video or this video. So what if we did into this particular video, we firstly drag and drop the content variable into the Adobe form or PDF form. We created the graphic node. When we created the graphic node, we have two options there. Graphic content, graphic reference. Go for graphic content because we are not going for any reference. We are not passing any reference. Then in that case, once you go for graphic content, it will ask for two things. Field and bind type. In front of field, pass the name of the field which has the graphic content. Now, mine type is no need to go into detail. Just declare a variable, drag and drop and bind with this. After that, we went to the layout on the master page. We simply, simply created the image field because we are going for field now. Uh, we are going for image field. We are not, not directly going for the image. So in that, we simply bind it with the graphic. And please do not forget to select the checkbox embed image data as image will not display. In the next video, we will go for full understanding in the debugging mode. So if some confusion is there, it will be automatically cleared. So that's it in this video. Thank you.